Where's North from here? Alright there everyone, I'm Sim Northern Guy and today I want to talk about the Arms Global Test Punch. Not the test fire, the test punch. Which straight away, love it Nintendo, nicely done. Now this was going to be like a proper review like I did for Breath of the Wild, but the full game of ARMS is out in like three weeks or so. Uh, I think it's like June 16th or something like that. So I want to save like a full review for the full game and instead just give you my initial thoughts based on the test punch. And I've got to say straight away from the first game I had of the ARMS test punch, I was impressed. I was very, very impressed. This game... Oh my god, this game is fantastic. And th this might be the hype goggles getting in the way, but I'm trying to I'm trying to take those off and just look past all the hype and just as a game, it's so unique and it I have high hopes. I am very very excited for the full version of Arms. It's got the whole cartoony wacky um not exactly childish, but you know the whole Nintendo style that we've come to know and love. And then on the other side of the coin, it is so competitive. Like, oh my god, it is so competitive. I've seen so many people rage quit from this test punch. Um, or at least from like the lobbies I've been in and stuff. I've just seen so many people rage quit. And I've done it myself. And I nearly launched my Switch last night. Because uh, some guy has completely bodied me. Um, it, it is brilliant. It is addictive. It is fun. And it is just such a great game, honestly. If you haven't played this Test Punch yet, um, then there is another one next weekend uh, on Saturday and Sunday. And then we have a break the weekend after. And then the weekend after that is the release of the full game. So just, just try and get on it if you can. You really need to play this. It is so fun. No, I'm not saying it, it's, it's as competitive as Smash Bros. But it's close. It's very close. This, it isn't a Smash Bros killer. But it is definitely going to keep us entertained until we either get a port of Smash Bros. 4 onto the Switch or we get a new one, whether it's Smash Bros. 5 or Switch, whatever the hell they call it. Um, ARMS is definitely going to be the fighting game for a while in terms of Nintendo. Now what we know so far is that there's 10 revealed fighters and only 7 of them are available in the test punch, or at least they were this weekend, I'm not sure what's going to happen next weekend. Uh, those 7 available to us this weekend have been Springman, Ribbon Girl, uh, Ninjara, Master Mummy, Min Min, Mechanica, and Helix. So they've left out Twintel, uh, Bark and Bite, and Kid Cobra. And hopefully they are available to play next weekend so we can get a feel for them. But of the seven uh, that we've had so far, they are all pretty damn unique in their own right. And then some of them are kind of just like better versions of another one. So let me give you an example. The basic two fighters are uh, Springman and Ribbon Girl, and they're both really cool. They're fun to use, they're good for the basics, they're like the Mario and Luigi of arms. But then you've got Ninjara, who is currently my favourite, and oh my good goodness. Ninjara, <laughs> he's so fun to play, and absolutely terrible to play against. I love Ninjara. Um, at present, he's my main. But he is basically a slightly better version of Springman. In terms of the arms they have access to, they're essentially the same thing. And then Ninjara's got the added benefit of being able to teleport. And whereas Springman, um, when his health gets low, he always has his, his arms charged up. So it depends which one you want to go for, but Ninjara's teleporting ability is amazing for dodging. Then you've got like Master Mummy and Mechanica who are like the heavies, so they don't really flinch as much and they hit pretty hard and they're pretty slow and clunky. Um, I can't really decide who's better out of the two of them, but Master Mummy can heal himself when he's blocking, whereas Mechanica can fly around a little bit using jetpacks, so it's kind of whether you want the mobility or the defense and, uh, you know, the, defense and the longevity, I suppose. Um, and then you've got like Min Min, who's kind of like a combination of some of the others. She's got an arm that's very similar to Ninjara's. Um, she's got that stupid bloody dragon cannon thing, which is just the most irritating thing in the world. 
Um, and then Helix has an ice version of that. So they're all pretty similar in some senses, but they've all got their own unique things. So like Ribbon Girl can jump a lot. Um, when Min Min does a dash in midair, it can deflect um, punches. So they've all got their own unique play style. Um, but in terms of the arms that they have access to, some of them are similar to each other. But I guess they've got to be. Because, um, you know, if every single character had three unique arms, then you'd be very limited to what you could do. Um, and balancing would be a bit of an issue. Now, to be fair, this might just be me, but balancing is a bit of an issue anyway. Ninjara's teleporting ability is ridiculously brilliant. Um, the mummy's heavy arm just, like, plows through everything. You can't deflect it. Um, or if you can't, I haven't figured out how to yet. I mean, he is pretty slow and clunky, so you can dodge around him and use speed, but then again, if you're using someone who's really quick and you're pretty slow, you're, you're done for. Again, though, that might just be me. I'm not the greatest at fighting games, and it is a new one, and it is you know, it just takes some getting used to, but I think the balancing isn't perfect. There are some characters who are just leagues above others, but you're going to get that. It's like Tears and the likes of Smash Bros and things, so it's, it's expected, I guess but still a lot of fun and if you can master a character it doesn't really matter who you're up against i mean i've had matches where i've got ruined absolutely ruined by someone playing um spring man and ribbon girl and i'm using one of the more um what, what's the word not not better i'm using one of the more higher tiered characters in the sense of ones people were using the more popular ones so i was using like the injaro and min min and Me uh, mechanica and it's getting absolutely dominated by like the base players um but one thing i'll say avoid helix like the plague because he works differently to the others um quite a lot actually he is he is very unique and i don't like him at all he's pretty difficult to use again it might just be me but I didn't see a lot of people using Helix, and if they did, they'd use him for one fight and then just sack him off straight away and go to like Ninjara or Master Mummy or something like that. So it's up to you. If you're into the wacky, weird style and catching people off guard and you're used to playing outside the norm of things, then yeah, give him a go. You might like him. As for the actual controls, um, again, I guess it's personal preference. I started off using the motion controls, and while they are pretty damn fun to do, especially when you're using specials and stuff, because you've just got to punch repeatedly, um, and it is pretty, pretty damn, um, what's the word? It's quite rewarding curling the punches when you use the motion controls. It feels very fun to do. Um, using the actual controller, so either docking the Joy-Con into the grip, or using the Switch in handheld mode, or the Pro Controller, whatever, just using an actual controller even if you're using one Joy-Con on its side, is much, much better than the motion controls. And again, it is personal preference, but I was getting ruined by using the motion controls and other people using controllers. And you can tell if they're using a controller by the way they're moving. Um, and then when I switched it up and started using the controllers for, you know, for my second um, play, play of it, you know, the second slot I played in, then I did much better with a controller. Um, so it's up to you. It's, it's quite unique in the sense of the motion controls is the main selling point of it. That's what they've been big up in the trailers and everything. But if you want to get really competitive on it, then dock those Joy-Con or get the Pro Controller. Just don't use motion controls. And that's kind of all I've got to say at the moment. It's just my initial thoughts on it. I am so impressed. Really, really impressed. So if you haven't played the Test Punch this weekend, then definitely, definitely play it next weekend. I wasn't expecting to be this impressed by it, and I think this is definitely a release day purchase. But that's it. Those are just my initial thoughts and opinions on the ARMS Global Test Punch so far. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you played it this weekend and if you liked it and if you're going to play it next weekend as well. And are you excited for the full version of the game? And if you don't want to leave a comment, then send me a tweet at AYNorthernGuy. Um, so when the full game comes out, I'm probably going to get it on release day. Play it for a week or so and then I'll do a proper review of it like I did with Breath of the Wild. But until then... I will see you guys in another video. Have a great week. Go and play ARMS. It is amazing. You are not going to regret it. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.